my channel. Today I am super duper excited, and I say that every single video, um, because I have my dog Millie here. This is Millie, you can see part of her. I lost her form. She's laying on her bed right now, and I'll show you all that later. But this is my dog Millie, and I um, want to see this video because of uh, I wanted to introduce all my family, and she is part of my family. I wanted to introduce, introduce all my friends also. So I wanted to add her in here because she is very special and she's gonna be in most of my videos and I'm gonna be doing videos with her, some challenges and stuff that is trending with dog things like that. Um, Cause I love dogs to death. Uh, I would save any dog anywhere, um, any breed and I love them all. So I don't think any dog or any shape or form of a dog is not beautiful because they are all are. They all are uniquely made in God's image for that reason. So um, let's just jump right in the video. Uh, so first of all, I will tell you a little bit about her. Uh, she is an American Golden Retriever. As you know that I am from America, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description. Go check it out because it's really, really good. Um, uh, well, we should, if, if Hopefully, I, I need to put that in the description. If I don't, it's just in my thing, on, in my page. It's just, uh, I think it's the third video, either the second or the third video. Third video, I think. Talking about where I'm from or something like that. Hopefully, no, I don't know. It's one of those videos. Go check it out because it's really good and tells me all about what, where I'm from and um, all of my story. So go check that out. Um, so yeah, this is Millie. Uh, I might have mentioned her in the unboxing video, uh, but you, I don't think you've seen her yet. She is very pretty. I love her to death. She is very shiny coat because um, our food is good for her shiny coat, which I will show you her food and what it is. Um, she's five. She's going to turn five on the twenty eighth. Or yeah, the 28th. Uh, so that is in uh, about 19 days. Uh, so that is gonna be really exciting. Um, so I'm, uh, because also I didn't explain that I did have a coffee shop in America where, where I was living. Um, so I, uh, I forgot to mention that in the video. I knew I forgot something and that's what I forgot. So I'll just mention it to this video. Uh, so we had a coffee shop and uh, for three years, I think. And we didn't get to really celebrate her birthdays. The only big birthday like party we did was when she turned one years old. So one year old, one year old, one year old. Um, when she turned one, we had all of her friends and her mama come and her stepbrother come. So she always, she had her family there with her and she had us, her human family, she had her dog family, she had her dog friends that are dog neighbors. Uh, her best friend was a, a dog named Bella and she was an, another golden retriever. So they were best friends. Uh, Bella was a little bit older than her, but they were still like so close together. Um, but she is just chilling right now. It's sort of nap time, even though it's like 11.30. She has nap times a lot. Uh, she is a really, really good dog. Uh, she is potty trained. Uh, she's potty trained when we were at one, or it was less than that. Uh, uh, she is spayed and neutered. She hasn't had puppies. Uh, I've actually wanted puppies, but we couldn't at the time, um, we didn't have the time at that time to, to do that. So we uh, uh, got, got her spayed or neutered. Um, there she is, look at this. Uh, she, look at that face. Um, she's really ticklish on her paws also. She's really ticklish. Even like right here, she's a little bit ticklish. Uh, but she's really ticklish on her paws. Like when she's sleeping, I'll just like play with her and I'll gently like do something with her paws and she'll like kick him. She's really cute. 
Uh, she has a lot of, lately she's been having a lot of dreams, puppy dreams we call it. I still call her a puppy, even though she's not a puppy still. Uh, I still call her a puppy because I think she is, and she acts like one. Uh, but she, but a really good puppy. Um, yeah, so she had all these weird dreams, and I don't know what she's dreaming, but we do have a cat next door. Well, actually, we have cats in the whole neighborhood where we live, and uh, she is always wanting to play with them. So, and but she never gets to go up and play with them because uh, things could happen there. She doesn't really want to kill anything. She just wants to play because you know dogs. They just want to play and they want to have fun. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I I feel like she's dreaming about like like trying to chase them and like have fun with them. So her legs like will go and she'll go like oh like the other night. I was sleeping and she woke me up because she was going, oh, and it scared me because I thought it was like the door, the dogs next door. Um, and you know, it was just her, she was dreaming and she was asleep, but she was going, oh, like really loudly. Um, and then she like rocks, like, <laughs> uh, she does all that sort of thing. Uh, and she like sometimes will breathe really, breathe really loudly or, She'll like pant. She does different things. So she's got loads of different dreams because she's doing this every night. Uh, but she sleeps with me. Um, she sits in my room. She'll sleep either on my, cause my, I'll do a room tour soon, but I will tell you what my bed is. So since I have such a very small room, I have a, like, it's sort of like a bunk bed, but not, it's called like a high sleeper bed because you know, on the top bunk, I have the top bunk, but the bottom one is a desk and a little sofa, and it comes out into a pull-out bed. Uh, so when my friends come over, I can they can sit down there because it comes out into a pull-out pull out bed. So that's, I love that stuff. I love it so much because you can see the TV from there, um, and it's, it's just great. Uh, and Lily Bula sleeps on there. She'll sleep underneath my ladder step thing, and she'll sleep on a little corner uh, where I put her, her bed, which she's laying on, which I will, this is her bed. It's like that sort of pattern, and it's really soft and comfy, and she loves it. She always like sleeps on it, and she sleeps it on it in there, and it's that window. There's a door right here on my left. But it'll be hard to turn the camera around because it is a good position right now. Um, there's just like a door right there. And sh at night, it's really cool in there because we keep the windows open and the door open so she can go in and out. And my, her bed is normally out there. But I took it in so you can see it. Uh, so she'll lay out there and it'll keep her cool and she loves it. And so she can look up and see like stars and like the night go by. So she likes it in there. Um, when we're watching TV or having movie night or whatever, she'll go in there. Uh, she loves food a lot, so we'll get into the subject of food. Um, this is her food. It's little kibble. She used to have little squares, um, but then we just switched to this because uh, I don't know why we switched to it. But she has a lot of allergies. Um, I can't remember them all right now, but I remember like one of them was, she's allergic to a type of grass, um, which we always had in America. So she has really bad um, ear allergies, like allergies that affects her ears. Uh, I should say that. And um, uh, she gets really bad like ear infections and her ear gets all swelled up and red. She'll get like blood blisters and um, at the point sometimes it bleeds because she's trying to scratch it because it hurts so bad. Uh, and she'll try to scratch on anything or everything, the couches, on her bed, uh, on her little blanket that's right here, which I will show you that very soon. Um, or she'll use her paws, which is really bad. That's where the, her claws get in and then it starts to bleed, which isn't good at all. Um, so it gets really bad and then we have to go to the vet, but it's a lot of money to go to the vet because you have to pay for all this stuff, but we know exactly what we're getting. 
Um, but we just have these little eardrops and we always clean them once a week or twice or whatever, uh, whatever, like the sim, like how bad it is. Now she's getting up and moving. Um, she'll come back though. Uh, she is, <laughs> she's just scratching herself. There we go. See, if you hear that, she always does that also when it's really bad, but she was just shaking because she was shaking her whole body. Come here, Dobby. I just ate, so she's uh, trying to find some little scraps, aren't you? Come here. What are you doing? Here she is. She'll try to get outside, but I need her for the video. Um, ah. <laughs> uh, she, come here. Hey, come here. You want a treat? Yeah, she's interested in the treat. There she is, the beautiful golden. Come over here. See, I'm just gonna get in one of you to find her. Come here. Come on. Come here. Yeah, I know you're giving me. So, then I'll show you some tricks soon. So, she does a lot of tricks. Uh, we'll get on that topic. Um, we ran out of treats. Hold on. Oh, don't eat that, please. Um, we ran out of treats. Um, well, we're getting that soon. Uh, so I use her little food, little kibble food as treats. Um, so this is, and also about the allergy thing, these are good for her allergies. So she doesn't have anything that she is allergic to in these, in this food. So that's another good thing for that reason. Okay, give me your paw. So sometimes I say paw or shake to give me her paw. And then I give her I won't give her a treat every time, I'm just showing you so she's paying attention to it right now. Um, she also does high five, I taught her how to high five. So her main tricks um, that my dad taught her are lie down, sit, wait, and uh, yeah, lie down, sit, and wait. And those are the main tricks that we normally use, but I taught her some little extra uh, things like search and high five. So we are trying to teach her rollover right now. So she just laid down, um, up, up. And I told her how to up, up, there you go. So she just got up and now I'm gonna high five her. Can you get that high? Yep, see, she just high fived me. And then I'll give her a treat because Ricky is such a good girl. Um, so I'll give her a treat and Millie, come here, Millie. This one, okay, come on. Now I'll tell her how to sit. And then lie down, good girl. So she just lie down. Uh, ooh, right, you can see her just paw. Uh, so I told her to lie down, and then up, 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 up. Good girl, come in. All right, sit. Now, I'm gonna put this on her nose and tell her to wait. So, wait, this is a really good trick, wait. You can see it on the nose. Wait. Okay. And she caught it up in, in midair. Uh, so that's Millie. She's really good at that. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Um. Uh. She loves when I give her cuddles or hugs. I let her outside because she wants to go outside. Um. Hold on. Um. So I'll show you like her garden also. So this is such a long video, I just wanna tell you about my Millie. My Millie, my Millie dog. <laughs> um, so that's all, that's all like the tricks. She has more, but um, she's not in the mood right now. She just saw that I had treats. I will show you all of her toys now, and then I'll show you her bed. And then I will show you where she spends most of her time in the day and her back garden, which is basically where she spends most of her time of the day. And um, there is no grass in the city back garden because it's so small, because um, we're renting right now. Mm. And we only have this really small patch of grass that we had to get, uh, which we planted. And it is growing pretty well, but it's really hard to keep up on. Um, it's not like regular grass where you have all that grass and you don't have to keep watering it and cutting it like with scissors or shears. Um, but yeah, and then she doesn't like to, um, go to the bathroom on 
the grass because I think she goes pee on there, but then she doesn't actually do number two on there. Uh, she does it on the concrete, which I still have to pick up because she has been doing them. And I pick them up like all the time. She has like so many. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that, but I'll show you her, uh, her um, toys and her bone. Uh, but she does have a few more toys that they're just upstairs and other places where I can't find them. But this is one of them. Actually, she has two of these alligators. Uh, she loves them. This one's more dirty than this one. Uh, this one's like the more outside one. This one's more the inside one because it's more clean, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, this one's ripped. This one's good. This one was a new one, so we just gave it to her. It's nice ask for moving house um but this is the one of the toys well two of the toys same thing though uh this is her elephant as you can tell it's that's not blood i promise that's just dirty marks from her playing with it uh she loves her toys to death so she never rips them up or tries to rip them up she just um, always likes to cuddle them, have her with her when she's sleeping, um, she likes to play with them, like I'll play with her and wrestle with them, and that's why I got a tug of war toy, which I will show you after this toy, um, so we like to wrestle and play, we get, like, to get real feisty with each other also, so I'll pull really hard and she got strong teeth, uh, so that's good, um, she got there, uh, and she does other things like this. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I can just hear her outside. Sorry, just distracted. Um, so yeah, that is her elephant. Uh, so it's Ellie. And then this is her tug of war toy. As you can definitely see, it says tug of war on here. Okay, what else does it? Says this mighty art. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but normally she has this end and then I pull on this end, but she doesn't have a really good grip on this end, which I would definitely say for any dog, there's not really good grip on this because it's such, it's rubber. Um, so she normally takes this end and then I take this end. It's like the rocket, I call it a rocket, the grenade rocket thing. Uh, and then we pull. But I've been teaching her how to try to grip this side and get better with it so I don't pull too hard so then I can get the feel for it and try to grip it. Um, Cause it's rubber so her teeth can go into it and bite really hard while I pull. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, I might, if she's in the mood, I might show you a demonstration. Hopefully she might be in the mood. She might not though. Uh, here's her donut. So I call it the donut queen because I always put this on, like, on her head and be like, the donut queen. She's like the holy donut. Uh, plus, I call her donut anyways because she always wraps herself in a small, like she has like a huge blanket or a huge bed or something. And she'll wrap herself into the smallest little ball ever. So that's why I call her donut because she's got like a little hole right there in the middle. It's really cute. Um, uh, she's laying down. I hope I might show you, but you probably won't see it. If in any other vlogs or uh, videos, uh, if she's laying in a ball, I will show you. Like, be like, by the way, from that video, this is what she looks like in a ball. <laughs> what I mean, about that much. Um, but, yeah, so that's her donut. She's got little sprinkles on it. Um, so I, I wanted to get this for her for her Chris, for Christmas. That's what I got for Christmas for her because I thought, yeah, she's a donut and she loves this thing. She looks really cute when she's eating it because it looks like she's eating it. So it's like a good picture thing if you want to do a picture. And then this is her favorite toy and will always be her favorite toy and has been her favorite toy. We've gone through many toys in her life uh, for the past five years. We have been through almost five years. Um, many, many, many toys. And some of them have been like this, like, but look smaller, not like a box, but smaller and like this sort of, like sort of that height, yeah, like that, and then the little head. Um, but this 
We got this about a year and a half ago, two years, I don't know, something like that. And she has loved this thing. To the point, like I said, she never wants to rip anything off of her toys. She always loves them, she always cares for them, and especially this one. Well, she's loved it a little too much where there's no tail or no feet at the end of her box. Still has his little arms, but he's just a legless, tailless man. See what I'm saying? She loves it a little too much where it can get like, people would think, oh yeah, she's a really vicious dog, but she's not. She really does love her toys a lot, but it got a little to the point where it got a little crazy. But still, she loves this thing to death, and it's got like a little hole right there. It's like stuff in front of you know. Might have to get her a new one, but she would hate that. And if she ever saw us throw it away, she would literally hate us forever because she loves this thing to death. Yeah, so we call this her lovey, and she knows, like, whenever we say, go get your lovey, she'll go get it. Um, she loves this thing. Whenever you try to take it from her, she gets mad. She takes back from you, and she, like, walks away with it and hides it somewhere. That's what she does. Because she loves it so much, and she does not want anyone to touch it. She allows us to touch it because... She'll get in trouble if she doesn't let us touch it because it's obviously she can't personalize her own things. It is her her personal life. It is her personal item, but she has to let us take it because we are her, part of her family and she can't really do that. But for other people, we allow it because it isn't theirs and it is hers and ours. Um, so yes, this is her lovey and. If I squeak it, she might come. She's too busy trying to find the cat. Millie! Millie, look! Millie! Here she comes. See? And she comes! That's Millie. And she takes it. And goes somewhere with it. Yep. Now she'll go put her scent back on it. Yep, see, she's over there hiding with it. See? That's what she does. Uh, her box is actually right there, but she goes and takes it places normally. Right now, she's trying to get food. <sighs> she's such a foodie, just like me. Hey, what's this? <laughs> She'll normally like take it and get her scent back on it. That's what she does here. Come here, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, but now I will show you because I've showed you all the toys that are right here. Yeah, this is her bone. I haven't showed you this already. She loves this bone. She'll eat it at night if we're at movie night or we just like watching TV. She will eat this at night on her bed, on her little blanket, which I will show you. Um, and it is venison flavor and she likes venison. So she'll lick her paws to get most of the thing off because you can see it has a lot of hair on it, which is kind of gross. Because of how much hair she sheds, there's, I'm wearing black um, jeans. And there's so much hair on it right now. So I just get the little twirler so many times. Thanks, Millie. Really. I love her, but it can get a little bit too out of hand with the hair. Uh, especially when my parents have to go to work, they get haired. Even when she's not around them. It's everywhere. I don't think you can see, but maybe? No, you can't really see it well. But there's so much hair on my jeans but let's show you this real fast um it's gonna be a little bit difficult because it won't let me turn the camera around now she's laying on it so this is her little blanket this is what is normally right over there actually yeah right there no actually it's on the other side it's like ugh, over there uh actually if i move like this i can show you I doing no it's over by the piano <laughs> what am i doing okay right there yeah so right in that corner over there is where normally it is sorry i'm very confusing yes so this is her little blanket show you that that she's laying on she likes it because she'll like lay on it at night 
have her bone, play with her toys, watch the TV. She likes to watch TV also, if I didn't, if I, I didn't mention that. So now I'll show you her bed, which normally she'll sleep in the little conservatory right there. Um, and, or I take it upstairs when she goes to bed with me. Uh, let me put it in my room. She always alternates going with my sister and me. Uh, she doesn't really go with my mom and dad unless if it's like the weekends and they don't have to get up so, so they can get a good night's sleep for the weeks. But uh, this is her bed. Uh, it's really comfy. Actually, I would lay on it, but it's got really lots of hair. But it is really nice and comfy. It's really padded. Uh, and this is what she likes to sleep on. So, mm, let's go try and see if we can show you the grass. It'll be really difficult because I don't know what this, my laptop, I promise the quality will get better. It's just this laptop doesn't know. It won't let me turn it around at all. It just has one thing. So here's the conservatory, as you can see. I'll be doing a full house tour, so I don't want to show you too much, but at least you can know where we're at. Um, conservatory is like a sunroom or something like that, it's just all glass. Normally the top would be up, but they covered it for us, which is nice. Then it's not too much sun when you're in there. But it's nice and breezy today. She actually did poop on the grass, so don't mind that. But you probably won't even see it. That's the grass is So I will show you like the full house tour very soon when I can organize it. Um, like a phone or something. That'll be good to show you guys the full house and my room tour. My room tour will come first though. But uh, this the house tour will be coming very soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so Millie's just out there. Hopefully you have my Uh, just out there chilling. Now I'll put you back on here. Sorry that I had to go like right here the reason why i had to go right here is because i wanted to show millie and that was the only way i have to use like a controller to mount this so that's exploitations versus reality reality check right there um but thank you guys so much for watching this is a very long video um but i wanted to show you guys what millie is who millie is i should say uh, i did do another video on this but it was a really horrible and really bad quality and i feel like this one will be a little bit better quality why am i holding the toy um uh but i feel like that'll be pretty good better quality than it was and a little bit longer video to show you what who she is and what everything is here uh you'll see a lot more of her and a lot more better pictures and like other things of her in other videos and um i'm gonna be doing another video also if you see me wearing the same clothes and you're like oh she wears the same clothes every day um that is wrong because i just do a bunch of i'll film a bunch of videos on one day and then i'll be uploading on different days so you're like oh ugh. don't don't feel like i i will actually i'm actually going to be doing a video of showing all my clothes and what my favorite um clothing stores are and my favorite brands and uh like sort of and i'll be doing like get ready with me's also so stay tuned for those uh leave a comment below all, always on what i should be doing next um a lot of people haven't been commenting because obviously i'm just a new channel i do have 10 subscribers um and but hopefully people will tune into these videos and start commenting hopefully uh please do please please do if you can just it really will help me out um any love and support or any comments questions or just anything for me to do i would love it okay thank you guys so much for watching peace